Hi, I'm going to talk with you about a condition called macular degeneration. I have a handout that I'd be happy to give you if you want it when we're done. The macula is the name of a part of the back of the eye. Just like Washington is a part of Missouri, uh, this is a part of the back of the eye. And you use the macula to aim your eyes at the things that you want to look at. Like if you want to look at a bird, the macula looks at the bird, and everything else around it is your peripheral vision. Your sharpest vision is seen by the macula. If you look at my face, you're aiming your macula at it, and everything around it is the peripheral vision. When I look at the macula of your eyes, it did not look normal. Normally, the macula is smooth like a piece of glass. In your eyes, the macula is lumpy bumpy. We think of the macula like the film in a camera. If the camera is great, but you use bad film, then you're going to get bad pictures. This is the case in your eyes. If the macula is not healthy and flat, it can decrease your best sharpness of vision and make things that are straight, like a ruler or a door jam, look bent like an hourglass. Damage to your macula reduces your vision. Even if you get brand new perfect glasses and you have no other eye diseases like cataracts or glaucoma. If you also have cataracts or glaucoma, that can make things even worse. There are a few things we recommend to patients who have macular degeneration. The first one is to keep your regularly scheduled eye examinations with us. We can't help you if we don't have the chance to see you. I would also recommend that you take a multivitamin that has the ARIDS 2 formula. This can be purchased at most grocery stores and pharmacies without a prescription. I would recommend that you wear sunglasses when you're outside for any length of time. Uh, glasses that get darker in the sun, the transition glasses, those are considered to be just, just fine. And finally, we're going to give to you a little magnet that you'll put up on your refrigerator that has a checkerboard grid on it. It's called the Amsler grid. And I would like you to use that every day, one eye at a time. We will show you how to use it, and it takes just a couple of seconds. It's not hard to do. If that grid was to change in some way one day compared to the day before, you want to call us so you can come in and we can take a look at you to make sure that you're doing okay. Now there are two forms of macular degeneration. One is called the dry form and one of them is called the wet form. Usually for most people the dry form is generally better to have and it is more common. It is less likely to cause you to lose your central vision but many people still do lose their central vision even with the dry form. Other than the four things mentioned above, there are currently no other treatments for the dry form. The wet form is called wet because there's abnormal blood vessels that develop in the damaged macula and those blood vessels leak fluid and bleed. The wet form of macular degeneration usually comes on quickly and using the Amsler grid is a very good way to detect these things that have suddenly changed in your eye. If you develop the wet form, there are very effective drugs that are injected into your eyes by retina specialists. These drugs work better and you get better results if the treatments start as soon as you develop the wet form. So looking at that Amsler grid every day and coming in right away if it changes is really important. So don't, don't think it's not for you. That's your best way of telling if your eye has gone from the dry form to the wet form. Thank you very much.